the 11th uh, SEPA session, I think we had very good discussion, presentation on uh, local public governance and uh, administration for result. Uh, in the first session, we had uh, discussion on intergovernmental relations. Intergovernmental relations, there are three dimensions, political, administrative, and fiscal relations among uh, central or federal, provincial, and local levels. So in many countries, we have a lot of uh, uh, decentralization or deconcentration, devolution at all levels of government. But in terms of fiscal relations, still there is very little progress we made, particularly in developing countries. You know, advanced countries, they might have a substantial degree of uh, fiscal uh, delegation, uh, local autonomy. But in developing countries, fiscal relations is very weak. Maybe on average, 10 to 30 percent local autonomy we might have in terms of uh, fiscal relations. So in that regard, we had a very hard discussion on this issue so that we uh, re request member states to enhance this situation for uh, proper levels of uh, fiscal intergovernmental relations. So that's uh, one thing I like to emphasize. And secondly, we had discussion on public service capacity building for local level development. Of course, there are lots of challenges for national and local level governments, but particularly uh, we need to put more emphasis on capacity building in the local governments. In local governments, lack of human resource and also lack of competent you know, public officials. So they need more capacity building in terms of education and training and learning how others are doing, what the best practices are, etc. So we emphasized capacity building for uh, local level development. And thirdly, we had another issue on transparency, accountability, and citizen engagement. Uh, again, you know, developing countries, there is lots of problem in terms of transparency and accountability. Therefore, we need to enhance good governance, particularly transparent and accountable governance. And in addition, citizen engagement is good for open policy making. Citizen participation is good for inclusive policy making. Therefore, we should continue to enhance citizen participation in all levels of uh, uh, government and public service delivery. So in that regard, I think uh, your branch, uh, DPADM uh, branch on development management branch is doing well, and they are doing uh, e-participation index. I think that's very good development. So uh, I look forward to further development of all these issues. So I really enjoyed being here.